It's time for more bees and hopefully some more moth revenge because we can still get some hornets on our side and start looking into an elite regiment for even better soldiers as well as giving ourselves some even more honey storage and also some even more fun things like howitzers and anti-aircraft guns because you can never have too many howitzers. Mm -hmm. It might actually be time to retire some of these other weapons like the ballista because the howitzer is pretty much better than it in every respect. Now everything that we're building is using a lot more of the hardened wax so we should probably also build another one of those factories over in our little production area and this wax storage could stand to be upgraded because we are using a lot of it there we go another hardened wax factory for right there now how is our where's our barracks there it is how's our queue kind of empty right now and that's a minute plus on the research wow it'll be done right as the new thing shows up and then we can research mini guns look at all those builder bees stacking up i love it when they do that also i just built this level two storage and it's already full on the honey my goodness maybe we should change out these ones to be double level storage since we still have a lot we can work with and here come the enemies let's see what we got here there's a dragonfly over there let's see how many of these hornets we can take out Ooh, lovely that one went down in one hit and I keep forgetting to call back the workers so you don't get annihilated but oh yep and oh yes get that one. Oh, there's a whole swarm of them right there well that's good for us actually are those our friends i don't know if those are our friends but there's a lot that we need to take out regardless including one two three four five bomber ladybugs wow and that dragonfly is looking to make another attack run don't like that very much go down go down fool haha -ha. and the bombers are going down oh no that one dropped a larva fine that won't happen for the rest of them, though. Go on, get rid of you. Yeah. And then get rid of these next ones. I'm surprised I still have soldier bees that have spears. I would have think all of them would have died by now, but we haven't had a lot of bee deaths, which is good. There we go. Okay, six minutes to the next wave, and we can research the minigun. Ooh, a radar. Range of defensive guns. Ooh. So we can build radars. Oh, we're definitely getting the minigun then. So now we can build a bunker, which, whoa, has a weird shape to it. I think up here would be a good spot as any for that. Oh, hey, there's the moths. About time. I waited a whole video for that and they never showed up. Doesn't matter. We're still going to take them out. Let's see. I think the footprint was like that. Oh, nope. no. I was very off of, on that. Well, it's fine. We can just delete some of these rafts or soldier bees or worker bees aren't doing the wrong things. So that should be all of the things we need, except for this two down here. And this is interesting. The new bunker takes normal wax instead of the hardened wax. Kind of makes me wonder what the improved bees cost to make. In any case, we'll just get that started. And we have construction cranes now, like modern ones, filling up on the good old ambrosia. Oh, wait, that is hardened wax. Then why was it saying it needed normal wax? I don't know, but look at the builder bees go. Oh man, I forgot how many I had. This is gonna get built really quick. And it is looking nice. So the soldier bees now cost ambrosia and hardened wax. Unlike builders, these bees will fight to the death in defense of the hive. I mean, wouldn't they do that anyway? Let's just queue up a whole bunch of them. I really wonder what this training animation looks like. Also, do I have miniguns yet? Oh, that's such a long time to research. Last little bit of hardened wax going in. Ooh, turbines are spinning up. Although it doesn't seem like there's a new animation. Oh, wait, door's opening. What do we get? Whoa, look at you. Like an ace pilot bee. Very cool. Ooh, and we can build the miniguns now. What sort of footprint do those have? Minigun. Same as the big ones. We can get one of those in here. Call in some more hornets while we're at it. Ooh, speaking of that. And I really want this radar building because the more range we can put on these guns, the better off we'll be. Minigun going in right as the attack wave is here. Maybe the builder bees will be quick enough so they can do their thing. And my goodness, we have some good defenses going. There's the moth. Take him out. Take out the moth. Destroy it. Yeah, I went down so fast. It, it did carpet bomb once, which is fine. Okay, let's call back the workers so they stop getting swarmed. Whoa. I love it when the swarms get taken out like that. It's beautiful. Now, where's the other enemies? I don't even know who's an enemy anymore. That That's an enemy. Get him. Oh, those blitzes do still pretty good. So bad we can't call dragonflies to our size. Not that they would really do anything. But hey, that's a victory. And what did we lose? Oh man, we lost was that an ambrosia factory? I think that was. And a few things of pollen storage. Alright, at least we can build those back with level 2 storage. It seems like that ambrosia factory was the only major facility we lost, which is pretty good I'd say. And the builder bees are quick to work repairing all the other damage structures. And all the damage structures get replaced with level 2. And we have radars. Oh my gosh, the radar 
radar is huge. Thankfully, there's a spot for it right over here. And this poor little hornet is stuck in the howitzer. What are you doing? Get on out of there. You got work to do. In four and a half minutes, Codename Sting launches an explosive projectile with massive area damage, effective against clusters of enemies and heavy enemies. That costs so much hardened wax to research. But, you know, I want it, so yes. Oh, look at the minigun. Look at all the brass around the minigun. Oh, wow, this thing is... Oh, wait, wrong thing. Wow, this thing is nice. That is beautiful. Radar dish going in. Looking very nice while we're at it. Let's go ahead and build around it so it's more defended and not on the edge of the world. This poor hornet. If I mouse over the howitzer, it bumps around a little bit, but I think he's just gonna relax there for his entire existence. And our elite bees are stacking up very nicely. We have five of them so far, which is really boosting our numbers. And since this nectar storage is empty, let's go ahead and trash it so that we'll eventually build it back as a double layer. All right, right now over here, need no interest effective against individual heavy targets. Yeah, I think it would be. Let's get another one of those over here. Maybe another one. Oh, and we're researching the sting. A minute left. We can't get it yet, but that's fine. Honestly, I'm not sure we'll be able to get these mini guns in here. Hey, we haven't even built the radar yet. That's a lot of heavy wax. Yeah, the enemies are here. All right, time to put everything on hold, bring all the bees back, and then see how well this mini gun works. I don't even know what was there, but it got obliterated instantly. Where is there the other enemies? I see another one over there. They're kind of just trickling out, aren't they? Oh, that, what? Hold on. <laughs> that was just two enemies. What are they gearing up for? I'm worried a little bit. Oh, but now we can put the sting in. Okay, let's see the sting. The sting. Edge of air defense. This modern howitzer fire super heavy shrapnel fused to detonate proximity. Nothing can survive. Oh my gosh, you're huge. But thankfully I have a developed start to where you can go right over here. So let's see if I can build up another radar spot over here. Sadly, it'll conflict with this though. But I can go right like this. That should work. Thankfully, the bees are very quick at filling in these tiles, even though some of them are only filling part way. At least we can put one sting down here. Oh, that's gonna be good. We almost have enough hardened wax for the satellite dish. How's our resources looking overall? We're running low on wax, so is that where the bottleneck in production is? I'm thinking it might be. Let's go ahead and build another wax factory, and then install the second radar dish up here, and then it's not even the next era. It's a choice? I think we are ready. It's time to make a choice. Hmm. Why don't I wait on that? Because we can still reduce the cost of soldier bees with military benefits. And now double wax factory going in. Man, it's been so long. I forgot these things only cost pollen. Oh, look at that satellite or radar dish. That is looking good. Do we even need to bring resources to this building? Why is that a priority? It's just kind of increasing the range, isn't it? At least we can decorate this part of the world to put in more things. And this wax storage is empty. So let's go ahead and replace it with bigger ones, which is also what I meant to do up here with the nectar. Or was it over here with the nectar? One of the two. Might as well do both. Although actually, why don't we double level ambrosia storage since the level one ones are kind of full on that. And the next wave is here. Maybe the radar dish wasn't Bruh. the best thing to put right here. <laughs> ah, well, I'll just let the minigun do the firing. At least it can handle it just fine. Yeah. Here comes another moth. Oh, but oh, it's really getting rattled and it goes down. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's call back all the workers so they don't get obliterated. Oh, there's a mo there's another moth and two. Oh, okay, this just got more interesting. We're losing some more hexes in the middle here, but thankfully they're going down. And now I think, okay, this moth is still standing. Hopefully they can take it out. I could probably take over one of these things just to focus more. Yes, moth is down and dragonfly is down. Beautiful. Now what's left? Another dragonfly. Go away. There we go. All right, what's the damage? Damage is pretty substantial actually. Wow. Was that a ballista there? I think that was a ballista there. Eh, it's fine. I was replacing it anyway. But we also lost a few production factories. So let's get those built back. And maybe it's time I got the wax alloy to increase the durability of buildings. Holy moly. These really got reduced to nothing. And the area I was building down here got really wrecked too. And so much in the middle got destroyed. Wow. I think these were wax factories over here. Also, there's a hornet that's also stuck under the sand. Right down there. Do you see that? Why the hornet's gotta be so weird like that. Oh man, we lost a lot of pollen storage too. And the kindergarten. Oh no. I need that to make more worker bees. And currently all the builder bees seem to be focused on repairs, which is fine. Oh yes, gain better durability. Now since there's more moths, I should probably get the anti-aircraft system next because it says it's effective against large enemies. And the other minigun installations are in place. I don't know why I said it like that, but here they are. And let's bring in the 
staying next. We almost have enough resources for this. There we go. We should have better durability on there. Although if we do get this one, we can increase the range of defensive structures. The more range, the better. Let's go ahead and get it. Oh, here it is. The sting. Wow. How does this one shoot? Pow. <laughs> that is loud. I like it. Hey, Seagull, you want a taste of this? Wow. <laughs> oh, those mobs are in for it now. And the second radar dish is going in. That's even more range. Looking beautiful there. Now these become second level pollen storage. And we're getting enough things over here to rebuild wax factories and the hardened wax factories. Hopefully we don't lose many more things this wave. We only have 15 seconds. At least we call in more allies. How many allies do we have? 29. Pretty good. We do lose more bees each time. But that's fine. I think it's the weaker ones that are dying. Here they are. Whoa, the sting is already firing. Oh, yes. Knock him down. Fire again. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that is some beautiful fragmentation there. Oh, man. But here come the moths. Take him down, please. Ooh, that, that one went down pretty early. He couldn't deliver a bombing run. That one did over there. That's fine. Okay, time to call back the workers so we don't lose them. More mobs are going down. That is glorious. The sting. The sting. Knock him down. Yes. I literally just built this wax factory back and it's already decimated. That's not good. I'll just let the guns do their thing while I work on reestablishing what we want. Hey, and we win. All right. How's our losses? Did we just lose 10 bees that time or was it always 29? I don't remember. We lost quite a few worker bees and soldier bees. We used to have 50 plus of that. Wow. But we are getting better range on the weapons, which is good. I think I know what this area down here is going to become. I'll give you a hint. It goes boom. Oh, our military barracks took a hit. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Oh, yes, the battle range is there, and we could get the choice now, but I'll wait on that. Why don't we increase the bucket capacity of our bees? I also didn't realize, but our level, our era 2 military tree is maxed out, so why don't we just reduce the time needed for research, which costs a little bit of everything. That's fine. I almost wonder if it's worth building a second elite barracks like this, just because it takes so long for them to make. But right now, let's get another sting set up right over here and the third wax factory right over here. Hard wax going back in. Please don't blow up this time. And what should go over here? Another howitzer or a minigun? Probably a minigun. Not that I'll have any of these weapons before the wave shows up, but it's good to plan. And the double radar dishes is doing good things for the range. If I look at the range of the sting, it is pretty much instant. Wow, those moths got attacked right away. Oh, and so is this one. Go down. Yes, he's down before he made it. And these other two are being damaged at the same time. And come on, go down. Yes. Oh, he went down before he dropped bombs. Good. Here comes another one, though. Time to call back to workers. I forgot to do that. I keep forgetting to do that. But man, these Apache attack dragonflies are nasty business. Oh, gosh. Two of them made successful bombing runs. There go some more things. Ooh, but that moth went down. Good. Is the other one going down? It should be soon. Oh, no. I lost that entire footprint for the second sting over here. Oh, the jerks. At least we took the moth down. It did bomb a few times, but not bad. There's only dragonflies left. Not sure which hornets are on my side anymore, but wow, those mini guns firing at once. I love it. Oh, look, more hornets stuck under the ground. Why are you like this? And why did I lose that? But wow, they really don't want me getting another sting. And there's only six minutes between the waves now. Ooh, a carbon bucket. The getter bees. I like that name. Oh man, look at this wax facility. It it is a blaze. At least it's still working, but we need more builder bees on that. That is ridiculous. And I guess since they really don't give us the time to build a second sting, why don't we go ahead and see what the choice is? We are ready. It's time to make a choice. Okay. Ooh, we could get the military ending. There's different endings. I see. Well, we can get the military one right now. And it looks like we need the other upgrades to unlock the other endings. Well, peaceful ending sounds boring. Let's go military. Where our bees are working on nukes. Oh, I like the looks of this. Oh. <laughs> What sort of a new coloring is that? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but it works. Oh, yes. Hornets are done for. Hornets time is up. Bee Island. Oh my gosh. We just made zombie hornets. Really? Well, hey, we protected the queen and the high will prosper. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video of Bee Island, which is now Dead Bee Island or whatever the pun for that is. If you want to see more of this game, then be sure to let me know and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Peggy Sue, Droop Along, TJB, and Seriously Sarcastic.